everyone, it's Kathy here, and today is Kit Reveal Day for Club La La Land Crafts. I've got the October 2020 kit to share with you today, and I can't wait to um, share this. We've got another cute theme, as always, and um, exclusive new products. We've got some amazing dies and a brand new Critter stamp set that I can't wait to show you. But before we get into that, um, just some information for those of you who may not be familiar with Club La La Land Crafts. This is a monthly subscription only kit and I'll be sharing the full kit today and that includes two clean mount rubber stamp sets and coordinating dies. There's also a stamps only kit and a dies only kit and I have the links to the subscriptions in the um, information area below this video. So um, each month your kit arrives in this golden envelope and there's a laminated sheet here. This is kind of nifty to store the stamps, um, the cling mount stamps. So we are going to take a look first at the stamps in this month's kit. So each month you get an exclusive Marcy and this month we have an apple theme. So it's all about apple orchards, apple picking, um, but we've got some awesome sentiments with these stamp sets that um, can be used for various um, different themed cards. So it's really awesome and I'm going to show you some of those right now. So um, the products in the kit are exclusive to the club for 6 to 12 months after each kit is revealed. So they won't be available for regular purchase in the La La Land craft store until 6 to 12 months after. And the savings on the kit is amazing. This month's um, kit value, the full retail value, is $77.99. But each month, the full kit is always $39.99 plus shipping. So it's a really great value. And um, we'll take a look here at the sentiments on the Marcy stamp set, which is called Marcy with Apples. So we have a Give Thanks. And then we have... A so thankful for you so these are perfect with um, just for gratitude cards or with Thanksgiving coming up and we've got if friends were apples I'd pick you so we got some friendship sentiments on here and then on our second stamp set this is the new critters um, I can't wait for you to see these colored images they're adorable so this set is called the apple of my pie and we've got brand new hedgehogs and they're just adorable i love them so with this um, we have a sentiment i love you to my core so some love theme sentiments here and we've got you're the apple of my pie and we've got for my favorite teacher which is really cool with the apple theme. You can send a little card in for teachers. And then the um, last one on this set is Happy Fall, y'all. So really cute. Now for the dies, um, first up, we've got an apple orchard die. So this has several trees here and a little fence line. And it is, it just makes really cool um, little scenes for your cards. And I'll be showing you that, my projects here in just a minute. We've got an apple pie die. And this can be used in really um, cute ways. And I'll show you what I've done with this one. Then we've got an apple die. So um, the apple has this nice st stitch detail there. It's a little leaf and a little stem and then these teeny tiny apples here and then you can die cut these out and add them to the trees on the apple orchard um, die which is really cool. So I am going to um, show you the colored images before we look at my projects here. Aren't they adorable? She's so cute. Holding a little apple. She's got the basket there full of apples and then these hedgehogs. I'm just, I'm in love. <laughs> They're so cute got a couple holding apples and this one holding a pie. Um, over here on the right hand side of the sheet that comes in your kit there is a link to exclusive project tutorials from the design team. So you'll just type in um, the link here 
and into your browser and then that will take you to downloadable PDF tutorials and then sometimes there's also video tutorials that the team has um, produced for you. So that's a really um, cool perk for being a club subscriber. So let's take a look at um, the projects that I've made here with this kit. So first up, um, I featured uh, Marcy with apples and just did her in a little fall um, looking outfit. She's got this uh, little knit cap here. You can do, um, you can stamp with a, um, a knit. Lala Linecrafts has a sweater weather um, stamp that you can use. Um, or you can color it in like I've done here. And then we've got the apple dies here. There's a little accent in the back. Um, I've used the apple orchard die here and just created a little scene behind her. And um, you can see those little apples there that I was talking about that you can use on the trees. And um, for the apple pie die, I decided to make it into a little basket and then have one of the little hedgies here peeking out. So um, the die itself has um, little stitched lines throughout that kind of makes that lattice pattern of the pie. And if you just take your scissors and cut along, um, like halfway across the die cut on those stitched lines, then it creates, and you just, um, you also cut along the outer rim here and leave it on there, it kind of creates um, a cute little basket there. So that is my first project. And then for my second project, um, I, I love a slimline card and I wanted to have these hedgies here on a, a little fall scene. So, um, Cut, die cut that apple orchard die a couple of times. And what's really neat about this die is that it um, it fits perfectly. It's just the perfect size for a slimline card because sometimes um, some of the tree dies are really large and this one is just the right size. So I've cut it once and then and I cut my paper um, to seven and a half inches and after I cut it once I then cut, I just turned it, you know, cut it like this and then I cut it again, right where it met up with the end of the die cut. And then it gave me this continuous um, tree scene across the card. And then I've cut it another time and kind of tucked it back behind so that there would be a few more trees there in the distance. And then you can see the two little, two little fence lines. I've used the leaf portion of the apple die here and colored them in just fall colors. And then for this little basket, so I used the apple die to create that basket. You can kind of see um, the bottom there of the die cut. And then what I did was I flipped um, the apple over and, um, well actually I did it this way. I flipped it over and cut it again so that it kind of had a rounded look to it like a basket would. And then this handle part is the um, the stem portion of the apple die. I die cut it six times and then just layered them on there for a little handle to the basket. So fun stuff. I really, really had fun um, creating these cards and working with these new hedgies. They are adorable. And of course, Marcy is always adorable. Um, so if you are interested in this month's kit, the cutoff date is October 31st. If you um, are a new subscriber and you subscribe after October 31st, you're going to start with November's kit. So keep that in mind that in order to receive this kit, you, you have to subscribe by October 31st. And um, I think that is about all. Please uh, join our club fan group for Club Lala Land Crafts on Facebook. We um, share more inspiration projects throughout the month. And you can also upload your projects that you've made with the kits. And it's always fun to see what everyone is um, doing and making with each month's kit. So, um, as I said, the links to the subscriptions are below this video. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you again next month. Thanks for watching.